Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day. If you remember just about 45 days ago, this happened to my 2016 Corvette. And then comments like this happened on the channel, calling me a moron, calling me an idiot Corvette driver, all these negative, rude comments about my driving. Well, to be honest with you, I could have certainly edited that uh, part out of my car actually getting hit me over the line because to be honest with you, I didn't know I was over the line. I had just came back from the gas station about 4, 4.15 in the afternoon. There's nobody here on a Saturday afternoon uh, back there where I had parked on that brown building. Most people that are here on Saturdays park up here. So now we've got to fix it, we've got to repaint it, and we've got to do a couple other things, but I'm really worried about this car having under lining damage underneath the fascia. So we're gonna find that out as well. All right, there is the emblem. Thanks to Ronnie. There's the invoice. Do I have to pay you? You gotta get it. Oh man, you got me, you got Free me. Charge. Free of charge. And here is the bumper fascia. Should I just throw it in there? Yeah. Just chuck it in. <laughs> it fit perfect, that's awesome. To my boys at 360 Express Collision in Detail, they're the ones who are going to fix my car. They're the ones who's gonna paint the bumper and change out the emblem because these are the guys that I use. I think I have a better relationship with these guys. They're local, they're cheaper. Um, and with the front bumper not being completely fixed, we're actually going to take that off again 30 days later because they have something that's really cool that we have to let this new paint cure for 30 days before we do it. And we're not talking ceramic coating. And we're not talking PPF, personal protection film, because I've never been a big fan of personal protection film, which my Corvette does not have any on it. So we're talking about, is this thing gonna blow up? I think we're gonna blow up, oh no. So uh, I'm actually talking about a PPS, personal protective spray, not PPF, personal protection film. And this back here is a test hoodish. I don't know what that is. I guess it's a little hood. It's being tested. And uh, you can see that we've peeled some of it off because uh, I wanted to show that there's no film, there's no uh, glue or anything like that. And the really cool thing about this is you can see that it comes over the edges right here. So there's no lines either. So there's not going to be any yellowing. There's not going to be anything like that. And they're actually testing right now uh, how thick to do it. So he's factory certified. There are only five companies in the country, the United States doing this. Um, actually, it's really big over in Europe. So uh, once the car paint cures for 30 days, we're going to uh, do this. You can kind of see where there's a little bit of dirt line right there from where it stopped, but it comes right off. And when I'm pulling this up, there's no sticky residue. It's nice and done. And this is gonna be pretty cool. And this is probably something I'm gonna do on the 2020 Corvette to protect it. And you can see, again, this is just testing. Uh, on the edge here, there is nothing on the edge to get dirt, get uh, peeling or anything like that in there as well. So we're gonna do that uh, on this car as well. I told you these guys do Ceramic Pro. They have this Acura TLX here that they're currently doing some Ceramic Pro and paint correction and stuff like that. See, it's TLX all wheel drive. But I don't know if you know this or not, that's not a TLX color. That's an Acura NSX color. So this color is called Valencia Red. It's an expensive option to do from the factory. But on a TLX, I'm sure this paint, they hand painted this by the way at the factory. I'm sure it's probably a $17,000 paint job. Amazing. All right, so we are back uh, here at 360 Collision in detailing. Uh, we're gonna walk in here and find Holly and Brad and check out this bumper and see what it looks like. All right, so here is the bumper and uh, we've made some changes to the car as I was saying earlier, alluding to earlier, is I showed you at the beginning of the video about that personal protection spray. Well, we need 30 days to cure before we do this, just like any type of paint protection or anything like that. But what Brad has done is he slowed up us fixing the car because what he's been doing is every time that he is painting, he's actually putting it over there in the booth and baking the paint more and more and more. So this front bumper has probably been baked probably three or four times right now. So we're going to uh, bake it one more time today 
and then Iraq's gonna be able to spray that personal protection spray uh, on it so I don't have to take the bumper off again. I also showed you this, this is their practice hood, so they're just keep practicing and practicing and practicing to get over this. And as I spoke with earlier in the video, uh, that he's certified, he's gone to do all the classes. There's only five of these people in the United States doing this. Um, he actually has taken all that film off that we saw earlier in the video and turned this side into a matte finish. So this is the regular paint and then this is matted over. And just like earlier, we can take this off just as simple as we were showing earlier in the video. So that is pretty interesting that he can paint that. There's a good angle right there with that light on there. There's a uh, set there and do that and uh, have a matte personal protection spray on there. Pretty awesome. All right, so I am back at 360 Express Collision and Detailing, and uh, they have everything done. They have uh, the bumper painted. Uh, I showed you that earlier in the video. And most importantly, uh, they have the personal protection spray done. So I've got some really good recordings. So while they're starting to take this front bumper off so we can flip over and get the new bumper, let me show you this spraying process of the personal protection spray. It's absolutely amazing and awesome. it's all the way off so I'm scared to walk up there but uh, we need to go up there and start doing some more inspections to see if there is any more damage and I'm sad to report that even this far back I can already see some damage and something that's really weird I don't understand this but I don't know we'll come up here so there's an absorber right there so that's damaged uh, that's exactly okay because this is supposed to be damaged but why is there tape up here all right so i'm gonna throw up there working and i'm gonna start taking this off because i want to see a little bit more into it oh that one's really i want to look more back here i don't think any of that frame support is an issue that looks good just this little absorber here so we'll uh, go back to work and get one of those i'm still confused why there is duct tape gorilla tape on here i have no idea why that is i, I know i said it earlier but does anybody work at the factory is there a reason why there would be tape on here if you know contact me at chevydude.com or throw it in the comment section below All right, so here we are about 30 days later. I wanna ride that thing. It looks fun. I would not be going that slow though. And uh, the car is all done. If you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, I've put up a couple pictures of the nose cone being off and uh, we have some problems. I can't uh, fix the car. And uh, we're gonna talk about that here in a second. But um, I'll show you what is done so far. So everything is done. Uh, the personal protection spray is done. You saw that being uh, put on earlier in the video. And uh, I've gotta say, I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, 360 uh, did a fantastic job. And uh, we talked about in the wrecked car video that I was really worried about these lights clips being done. Uh, I don't think I really put that on camera when I took that bumper fascia off, but I checked those out really, really well and everything went through absolutely fine. And uh, the one thing that the personal 
the paint protection film does is uh, really, it's just amazing stuff, but what it doesn't do is self heal. And uh, we're gonna get some self healing stuff on this because in the last 30 days of us putting this on here, uh, Brad's actually uh, connected with a person who actually has self healing personal protection. I keep calling it personal protection. It's called paint protection spray, PPS. PPF, PPS, Pers <laughs> see I can't do it. Personal, oh uh, wait. <laughs> paint protection spray, paint protection spray, paint protection spray, I gotta get that out there. I don't even know if I've said it right earlier in the video. Let's get a cold start on here. All right, so it really wasn't a cold start because they had it running, it was actually uh, kind of warm. But regardless, still love the Corsa exhaust. All right, so what I can't fix on here is the black piece up there. You can still see that that is cracked there, it's cracked there. And uh, the day I'm shooting this, it appears that uh, they're gonna ratify this UAW agreement. So uh, the reason I can't get that is because of the strike. I did a video earlier in the month that I didn't think this strike was gonna last more than two weeks so I could get the bumper uh, all the way completely done. That's not the case. So I can't fix that black piece up there. So hopefully this strike gets done and we can get that completely fixed and uh, I'll update you down the road. I'm thinking, what do you guys think? Do you think I should do the Z06 front end here or do I leave it the same? The cameras should fit exactly the way uh, they fit in here as they do on the Z06 grill, but uh, the Z06 grill and this grill are the same width. They fit in there perfectly fine. But uh, what do you guys think? Z06 grill or leave it this way? Tell me down in the comment section below. So uh, we can't fix this car completely yet, but it is back to looking absolutely awesome. It looks beautiful. Um, I'm gonna keep the other fascia. Could I have some fun with it? Could I hang it up? Could I put some lights right there? We got the black emblem there. If you have an idea on what I should do with that piece right there, throw it down in the comment section below. The front bumper fascia does have a $75 core charge on it, so I'm supposed to return that to the dealership so I can get that 75 bucks back. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna keep it. I think I can do something really cool with it, but uh, we'll see. All right, so there we have it. I'll update you on the front grill when we get that in, all that good stuff. Uh, probably throw some stuff up on Instagram and Facebook, so make sure you follow me there. And as always, Thank you again so much for watching. If this is the first time you're checking out my channel, take a minute and hit that subscribe button, turn all your bell notifications on, and let me know that you're here and you're new. I'd be more than happy to interact with you on here as I read every single comment. Again, guys, thanks again for watching. Have a great day and drive safely.